Hello friends, welcome to my trading channel. Today we are going to discuss about how to find out false breakout. I will show you some example. Those examples may help to identify the false breakout. The first one is less candle body on the breakout side. If a stock break the resistance, check the breakout candle body. Only left portion is close above the resistance, then there is a chance for breakout failure. I will show you one example. This is B soft chart. Here you can see resistance is breakout and candle is close above the resistance. But only a small area of the body is close above the resistance. Also you can see that there is a rejection also comes. So such case we should wait next candle. Uh, if next candle also close above the resistance then only we can confirm the uptrend. So whenever there is a breakout happen we should check the candle body. If more candle bodies are close above the resistance then only it's a strong breakout. Also make sure about less price rejection on breakout candle. Now let's check the NESC example. No continuation move. If a stock break the support and retest back, then it didn't break the previous low. Then also it's a chance for false breakout. I will show you one example. This is HCL chart. There you can see support is breakout and then a bullish candle comes. Again market comes down but you can see it didn't break the previous low and take the support and it goes up. So if a stock break the support and retest back the support level then if it didn't break the previous low it's a false breakout chance to go up. So make sure whenever uh, if a stock is break the support uh, if it didn't break the previous low then avoid the trade. Now let's see the another example candle close and wick break. If you see after the breakout other candles form wicks then also chance for false breakout. We will show you an example. This is Pell chart. There you can see after the breakout so many wicks comes in a candle. So after the breakout if you see a rejection like this it's better to exit that trade. It may chance to comes down like this. Next one is no follow up volume. It is important factor in breakout. After the breakout keep monitoring the volume. If volume comes down that means the breakout is not too strong. Any time trend chance to change in opposite way. I will show you an example. This is federal bank chart. Here you can see the breakout is strong and more portion of the body close above the resistance and breakout candle volume also strong. But after the breakout you can see the volume is dropping. That means this breakout is not too strong and it will chance to fall like this. So after the breakout keep monitoring the volume also. If you see volume is dropping then better to exit the trade. Now let's see the last example. Higher time frame levels. Whenever you plan to mark support and resistance levels on chart, it's better to use with the higher time frame. Smaller time frame chance to get more false signal. I will show you one example. This is RBL bank 5 minutes chart. On 4th you can see support is breakout and it goes up again. The same chart we can check with the 1 hour time frame. Here you can see 1 hour time frame it's the rejection only. After mark support and resistance on higher time frame you can use 5 minutes also but if breakout is happen check with the 1 hour time frame and make sure no rejection. And higher time frame also support the breakout then only enter the trade. And if you are a positional trader it, it's better to use with the higher time frame. So all those things just check after the breakout it may help to identify the false breakout. So hope you like this video. And if you have any doubt, do send a mail to nicolasnilo2017 at gmail.com. Also visit my website nicolasnilo.com. And if you wish to join my telegram channel, just search Nicolas Nilo on your telegram. Thank you. Thank you for watching. I will be back with another trading strategy video. Till then, have a nice day. Bye-bye.